Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today, we're taking a look at two households in Moonlight Falls, both referencing a popular TV show and book series. So grab your snacks and let's find out who these Sims are. Don't forget to subscribe and like this if you enjoyed it. Alright, let's get straight into the video. First up is Marigold Maldano. Marigold only recently realized that she's descendant from a family of powerful fairies. She was raised by her late grandmother and recently inherited the family home where she lives alone. Strange things seem to happen wherever she goes. Is she a magnet for supernatural events or is she just crazy? Marigold lives at 347 Knott Street in a two-bedroom, 1.5 bathroom home called the Bayview whose description reads, Not too small and not too big, this Greek revival style house is just right whether you're starting a family or just a single sim who wants it all. The stylish bay window adorning the front adds a welcome touch of class that is sure to be the envy of your neighbors. Better yet, the flexible floor plan offers your sim endless possibilities to add that personal touch. Marigold's house is cute and dinky. She lives right across from the diner where she works at and also the grocery store, the bookstore and the spa. Outside, Marigold has a mandrake plant right at the entrance of her home and a bicycle propped up by the porch. She has a garage, but no vehicle is parked inside. Going inside the house, you're greeted by her small living room, dining area and kitchen. I actually really love this layout, it's really cozy to me. Okay, so from the kitchen, there's a small bathroom and from there you can also access this sunroom where there's a sofa, an armchair, a chess table and a few plants and planter pots. From the sunroom you can also go outside in the back garden where Marigold has two apple trees, a red valerian and three melon plants. Going back inside, upstairs there is a hallway with three rooms. The first room is Marigold's home office or study where she has a sofa, a bookshelf and a desk with a computer. The second room is a small spare bedroom which shares a bathroom with a second bedroom which is probably Marigold's. Marigold's only other known relative, Uncle Terry, recently died in a freak bug zapper accident. She, like all the Maldanos before her, is considered either quirky or insane depending on who you ask. Marigold has a happy, sunny disposition, but she's very unlucky in love. Her latest attempt at love was with Gladstone Farmwell, but he broke things off after she tried to make dinner and burned his salmon. So let's have a closer look at her. Marigold is a fairy with the Cancer star sign and she's in her mid-young adult years. She is a supernatural fan, insane, flirty, unlucky and frugal. Her favourites are pop music, fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches and the colour yellow. She works as a pastry chef in the culinary career where she's doing great and is probably due a promotion and her lifetime wish is to have the perfect garden. In my game, Marigold graduated from community high school. She also knows quite a few sims around town and she is best friends with Hayley Sumari, best friends forever with Helen Hall, good friends with Dee Dee Wynne and David Pock, friends with Alice Fitzgerald, distant friends with Malcolm Harris, acquaintances with her boss Linda Rogers and exes with Gladstone Farmwell. Marigold has five skill points in cooking and in her inventory we can find the usual but also two books titled The New Ice Age and Seance and Six Sensibilities. So we know Marigold was raised by her grandmother and after her passing and her uncle Terry's passing due to his zapping accident, she's the only Maldano left and has inherited the home where she's currently living. We also know she's only discovered she's a fairy and strange things seem to be happening to her, although it's implied that it might be because of her mental illness. Her bio also says that she used to date Gladstone Farmwell, but he broke things off when Marigold burnt his salmon. So I mean, who is the crazy one here? <laughs> Let's have a look at this guy. Moonlight Falls is a perfect fit for a guy like Gladstone. With all the fishing, the great outdoors and friendly people, he never wants to leave. And plenty of local ladies are happy about that. Can Gladstone stick around in Moonlight Falls or will he be run out of town by an angry mob of ex-girlfriends? Gladstone lives at 13 Lupine Lane in a one bedroom, one bathroom home called Efficient Abode whose description reads, Why have extra rooms that take up space and cost an arm and a leg? 
Sims who buy this manufactured beauty know the answer to that question. Get everything you need and nothing more for an efficient abode that'll bode well with your sim. Kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and living room, it's all there. Gladstone is also neighbors with werewolf Pappy Wolf. His house seems to be a mobile home, but without the wheels. It's very small and compact. Outside, he has two cars parked, a Vom P328 and a Sloppy Jalopy. He also has a fire pit with three chairs around it, a football and a broken down truck which you can't interact with. On his porch, he has a small grill and an armchair. Inside, you come straight into the kitchen and living area, which is very small. Here, there's a TV, two sofas, a small dining table with two chairs, and his kitchen. From here, you can go to the next room, which is Gladstone's bedroom and ensuite bathroom. So let's have a closer look at him. Gladstone isn't a werewolf, but he kind of looks like one. And he's just as strong, virile, and irresistible. He feels most at home on a long hike in the woods with fishing pole in hand, off to catch some yummy fish. He's not much of a cook though, so his catch of the day usually ends up as a charcoal of the day. Gladstone has some trouble settling down too. What might be a promising relationship usually ends up before it gets started due to one superficial reason or another. The most recent casualty was Marigold Maldano, who burnt a big beautiful salmon. This guy is really something. He always burns his fish, but then when Marigold burned his salmon, he broke up with her? I mean, obviously that wasn't the real reason, it's just an excuse for having commitment issues, but still. It's also good to note here that as high as Marigold's cooking skill is, she's still not able to make grilled salmon yet, so, I mean, no wonder she burnt it. Gladstone has the Capricorn star sign and is in his mid-adult years. He loves the outdoors, is handy, has commitment issues, is athletic, and an angler. His favorites are classical music, autumn salad, and the color green. Gladstone works as a squad leader in the military career where he's doing pretty great, and his lifetime wish is to become an astronaut. In my game, he graduated from the Peace and Love private school and he has three skill points in athletic, six in fishing, and one in handiness. Because he's a handy sim, he will learn the skill much faster than others. Gladstone knows a lot of people, just like Marigold, and he is romantically involved with Helen Hall, Marigold's best friend. Jesus, talk about backstabbing! Gladstone is best friends with werewolf Dwayne Wolf, whose family we looked at in this video. He is also good friends with Branch Timbley, Rainflower Ivy, Erica Wolf, Pip Goodfellow, friends with Pappy Wolf, acquaintances with his boss Annie Nix, and as we all know by now, exes with Marigold Maldano. In his inventory, we can find the usual, but also a book titled The Legend of Queen Nocilla and King Nair. Considering he has one skill point in handiness and is a handy sim, he might be trying to fix up cars, which would explain the broken down truck in his backyard and having two vehicles instead of just one. So we actually had a look at Helen Hall in my Lolita goth video since she lives with the goths from Moonlight Falls. Marigold's so-called BFF, that backstabbing bitch, is honestly not that interesting. Yeah, that's right girl, nothing interesting about you, so we're moving on. So all these three sims might have some references from real life media, just like the witch Crumplebottom sisters who reference the charmed witch sisters. Everyone in the comments was correcting me on my last video saying that Bianca wasn't Paige but is supposed to be Phoebe, but you know what? I actually think that she's supposed to be both. The fact that she squabbles with Beatrice is definitely referencing Phoebe, but her appearance is more like Paige's, so there. Happy now? Cause you freaking fricks! Okay, back to these three other sims. Many say that Marigold is actually a reference to Suki Stackhouse from True Blood. They look very similar and both characters are descendant from fairies and have a deceased grandmother. Well, Suki is a halfling, which is half fairy, half human, but yeah, Marigold is definitely a reference to her. Both characters work in a diner and Suki uses the alias Marigold in one of the books. I think Gladstone here is supposed to portray Alcide Hervaux, which is one of Suki's romantic interests, but it's said that his personality is closer to Sam Merlot, who is also one of Suki's romantic interests. So Gladstone probably references both, since he's neither a werewolf like Alcide or a shapeshifter like Sam. 
It's also said that the romantic triangle between Marigold, Gladstone and Helen is a reference to Suki, Sam and Tara. Tara being Suki's best friend, who in the series is actually a vampire. I mean, missed opportunity there EA, but you know, oh well. <laughs> I think these characters are meant to be nods to the ones from the book and series and not to be an exact copy. Do you guys pair Marigold with anyone else from Moonlight Falls? Perhaps a vampire? Or do you just make your own character? How do you play with these households? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, there you have it. Lots of info on the Maldano and Farmwell households. I'd like to thank my patrons Negative Dana, Papa Khan, Leo Thompson, Artsy Flashback, Nathan Lim, Caitlin Luigi, A Wild Kitty Cat, Kita John the Arcane Archer, Carolyn, Andreas, Whitney, Hannah S, Amy Louise, Charlie, Libby Young, Perlog Anwil, Brigitte Gill, Shelby Hill, and Nicole Dante. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your theories in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more lore and updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!